What's up, guys? Uh, I'm just this is just my uh, hypertrophy lower day from, for Thursday. I want to go ahead and apologize first before I get into this for uh, tomorrow's video. Um, I actually did the hypertrophy upper workout right after this hypertrophy lower workout, and I wasn't able to film it because my battery died halfway through my deficit deadlifts. So um, yeah, so I don't have footage of that, but I'm gonna be making another video for you guys in its place. Um, so you'll see that. Um, I think on these, I did a lot better on the uh, pausing. Um, my depth is still not all the way there. I'm still trying to working on opening up my hips and everything. Um, I definitely should have stretched a lot more in between my heavy day and this hypertrophy day. I think that would help me get even better depth. I th looking at the footage, um, it seems like my depth was better on the uh, heavy day. Um, but on the hypertrophy day, I kind of felt like the depth was better. Um, not I felt like the depth was better, but I definitely, I felt better going into this workout, so things felt easier. Like, this, um, 135 felt super light, I just kept it there to try to get deeper. And you'll see me throughout these reps try to, like, you'll see how slow the negative is, and I think that's why, um, my pauses are so small, are so short, is because I'm trying to go really, um, not that I'm trying to go so slow on the negative, it's that my, um, on my negatives, I go down at a pretty constant rate, and then I slow down towards the bottom, and really try to push myself into that bottom position, and that's where I'm losing my, um, the pause, because I'm taking so long to get into that bottom position, but I think it's really coming along, I did a lot better, this is definitely a marked improvement from last week's control hypertrophy day, look at that pause, great pause, um, still need to work on getting my head up, I don't know what to look at, because I don't want to look in the mirror, I don't like looking in the mirror when I lift. I know that's kind of, um, that's probably the opposite of a lot of people. Like, most people have to be told to not look in the mirror. I don't like to look in the mirror. It distracts me. I see other stuff moving around, and I don't like it. So I like to look at the floor, because on the floor, nothing's moving, and I can't get distracted, so I don't lose my focus by looking at the floor. Um, yeah, so... I wish the gym was as empty as when I started this workout all the time. I like when I get there... Um, and the gym just opens and it's super empty. Um, yeah. So you'll see on these sets, I really, my, my, uh, my stance varies a lot, and my back angle varies a lot, because I was trying to stay more upright and get, just be able to sink back in between my heels and everything like that. You'll see me, like, right now I'm fidgeting to try to move my stance around. Um, and I really haven't found what's comfortable for my, um, awkwardly long but yet still short legs i'm really short i'm five foot four and i have very long legs for my height they're a very large percentage of my height so i have to figure out what my squat stance is going to be um it's really just hip mobility and uh, i don't know if i mentioned this before but i ran a season of cross country in high school and i had to, i ended up having to quit because i got injured i pulled both of my um it bands and I got tendonitis on both ends of both IT bands. And then also, I came very close to pulling both of my hamstrings. So, um, I have a lot of hip mobility problems. And I have a lot of, um, like, built-up, uh, like, scar tissue from that in my hips that make my mobility kind of a problem. So, um, I did do quite a bit of stretching before these. But I should have stretched in between days. And what I've been doing now is starting to foam roll more often, and I've found that it really helps me, especially after this hypertrophy day with all this volume, um, to foam roll after my workouts as well. So I'm going to start to foam roll before I train and after I train, especially on lower days. And then it also helps me to do lower body um, mobility work before my uh, bench days, or my upper body days, I'm sorry. So I'm going to be working on that in the future, given that time allows it. Um, you see my pause is getting shorter and shorter. Actually, throughout this workout, I would have like a short pause and then realize that I didn't pause long enough and then have a long pause like that. So you can see that I'm aware and trying to make it make a difference. All right, then I moved on to my uh, pause sumos. I definitely don't think that the pauses were long enough on these. Um, I was really more focused on trying to remain upright with these than trying to... Uh, pause for a long time, but it's coming along. I'm trying to really, um, sink my hips down. I had, a, um, I really follow, uh, Chelsea Lifts on YouTube. I really like her channel. And, um, 
progress and everything. And, uh, I don't know. I just think she's so cool. Like, I always think that, like, I follow her. She's a huge inspiration. Um, like, Dana Lynn Bailey's an inspiration for me. Like, women who lift are really cool to me. So, I, um, she was, Chelsea was saying to, when you're pulling sumo, cause she's recently switched to sumo as well, she said that a cue that she thinks of is that, um, if the weight weren't there to hold you down, you would fall back. And so I'm thinking that that might help me push through my heels. And like I was saying on my heavy lower day, um, pushing through my heels and trying to screw my feet into the ground by pushing through my heels and rotating my toes out as a means of achieving that external rotation in the hip. I think that allowing or thinking of myself falling back will cue me to create that same motion with my heels in the sumo, which will keep my uh, hips externally rotated, like I just said, so keep my legs out wider so that my knees aren't coming into a valgus position, which will um, basically just activating my glutes and my hips more, uh, which will help me keep my back more upright and um, really just probably get more leg drive and get a stronger pull. So what I'm working on next week is going to be uh, extending the pauses of these sumos, um, as well as keeping the pauses in my squats and getting better depth and staying more upright in the sumo. But I think everything's really coming along quite well. Um, like always, I didn't film my uh, my accessory work other than the deficit deadlifts. I think on one of those sets, the, the plates I stood on actually moved around. But, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, working through everything. Um, also on these uh, lower days, I don't know if I mentioned this or not before, I've decided that I'm going to use belts on my main lifts and then on the accessories that are, actually on all the accessories, I'm not going to use a belt. I think the only accessory I ended up using a belt for on this day for the lower body was the calf raise because I was so fatigued because I did it at the very end after I did the entire upper body workout and my core was dead. So I, uh, yeah, I threw my belt on to do those calf raises. But um, just so that I could, because I did them in that hack squat machine and I needed to be able to unrack it, and I'm already too short to unrack it, it's just a lot, so yeah, so on these days, I'll be doing the deficit deads, um, belt list, I'll be doing the stiff leg deads on the heavy day belt list, and then all of my, like, my regular squats, my regular deadlifts, my pause squats, my pause deadlifts will all be belted for the most part, part. Uh, for this cycle, I think by next cycle, I'll do my pause squats and pause deadlifts, like, this entire day will be belt list, alright, so this is the last set of, uh, Deficit deadlifts. I did 145 pounds. These felt great. I feel like I should do more weight next time. Um, I actually did two more sets of these at 145, but like I said before, the camera died. Um, yeah, this felt really great. This is a run. This is a really great training day. This goes to show you how much you can change from day to day and why auto regulation is so important. Um, so yeah, uh, like I always say, if you're uh, subscribed to the channel, if you've seen my videos before, thanks for coming back. Um, if you're new, welcome aboard, and to everybody, thanks for watching.